Please be advised that everything in my video is purely for entertainment purposes. These are purely my thoughts and opinions and are subjective. I must advise you to please do your own research. All media users found on the public domain and are fair use and fair dealings. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, I haven't really been out to much. Um, I've had a few days off as you, most of you that follow me on a regular basis know that I like to have a social media detox. Um, I think too much social media is not good for the brain. There's a lot of negativity out there in the world. And even though I only follow particular subjects or I'm only looking for particular things, obviously you then come across stuff that you really wish that you could unsee. And there seems to be a lot of anger out in the world. And then a lot of scaremongering by sort of politics and various other groups that are out there so it's time to have a good cleanse um so today oh, my old gym opened i'm so happy the swimming pool's not open yet um which is a shame because this week we have an african heatwave coming how tropical i know how exotic um not sure how most people in the uk are going to cope with that because unless you're up north um i.e scotland um down south especially the south coast southeast southwest can get extremely hot um for those of you that live in hot countries around the world british people are very much famous for not being able to take too much heat so we'll see what I'm like <laughs> during the week there'll be fan either side my hair will be sweat fat but I will do my best to keep churning out the videos so those of you that want to know the dogs are getting along brilliantly here's a picture of them playing tug of war and um, there's been a tiny little bit of jealousy with Leela but we make sure that we give them both affection and spend time with them independently as well in the house like my husband and play with Lucia while I play with Leela but otherwise it's like we've always had her so that's going extremely extremely well. So today at the time of filming, today is Meghan Markle's birthday. The Cambridges have wished her a happy birthday. All class, actually. I find that incredibly classy. But I guess with them, it's they're damned if they do, they're damned if they don't. They're, I did have a quick look on the comments. Um, you've got your typical rabid fan base of Meghan Markle still attacking them. But then you've got lots of neutral people saying it's really nice that you're being that classy. Or it's the fact that Harry is still William's brother. And how many of us have got a friend or a family member that's in a relationship with someone? someone you don't particularly like you know you still need to keep face in that so I think that they're definitely showing that they're the bigger people so the media have finally started reporting on the fact that Meghan sets up pap shots. Um, they have only run a story on her relationship prior to Harry, um, but I think that we all know she still continues to do pap shots. Um, it's the same as when Harry and Meghan first started dating before their relationship got announced. Meghan liked to use her Instagram account and her TIG blog to hint, subtly wearing bracelets when she'd obviously been to Botswana with Harry, that, you know, Harry wears the exact same ones, drawing attention to it matching the mug to the bracelet so it was definitely there you know you had the spoon in bananas um someone actually depicted what the spoon in bananas would probably look like now which i find quite funny most of us have known that Meghan has been setting up pap shots. There were lots of photographs in the early days of dating. Uh, Pippa's wedding day, for example. Um, Meghan was seen coming out of the gym. She did not wait for her taxi to come out of the gym. She did not order a taxi to arrive and then leave the gym. She deliberately stood outside um, posing for pictures, which are just very, very D-list, cringeworthy poses here. And it was also reported that she walked past the Daily Mail offices on several occasions and chose to go into Kensington Palace at the um, most obvious entrance rather than obviously side security hidden entrances. We also saw shots of Meghan coming out of Sarah Chapman's um, facial clinic in London. Um, Sarah Chapman looks more upset that there were paparazzi there than what Meghan seems to be. Also, there was a story that's recently ran how Meghan, if those of you that remember it, when they first started dating, their relationship had been announced, she wore a gold chain with M and H on it to deliberately kind of draw attention to it. Now, it was said that she was left distraught, frustrated and emotional because palace courtiers told her off for making their relationship too obvious because it was deliberately going to sort of garner media attention, which it did. But the fact that she was left distraught and emotional, it's like, you know what you were doing, love. We're not stupid. The same can be said with what started the initial falling out with one of Harry's closest friends, Tom Inskip. For those of you that haven't seen it, um, Meghan and Harry were reportedly to have broken up. When she was previously with Harry, they were invited to attend as a couple to Tom Inskip's wedding in Jamaica. Meghan still 
turned up to it. So there was a bit of a frosty reception and it obviously caused some drama. Now, Harry and Meghan did have a table. It was pushed quite far out of the way. Tom Inskip would have obviously had his own photographers there, but I find it odd. this is very much paparazzi shots. There were also a lot of photographs of Meghan wrapping herself around a very uncomfortable looking Harry, laying kisses on him. Several friends throughout the wedding came over and you could tell that they were bollocking them both, basically saying, you know, the fact that you've deliberately drawn attention to yet again someone else's wedding other than Meghan's. If only we all had the gift of foresight, but this says a lot, doesn't it? This is Tom Inskip's wedding and this is Harry's closest friend and Meghan still went to this and drama was caused. I can imagine that the bride wasn't too happy. So for when Meghan and Harry's wedding came round, I find it, it was probably even more insulting the fact that Tom Inskip and his wife were not invited to the evening party, despite it being a huge celebrity affair. How rude is that? Your oldest friend that's been there for you thick and thin. But it became pretty obvious in the early stages who wears the trousers in that relationship. Now, another story that's hit the headlines is the Royal Family website has downgraded, shall we say, the biographies of Meghan and Harry. Now, this I'd imagine is a standard practice. You know, they have left the Royal Family. I know that they have got the 12 months review period. I wonder how that's gonna go. It can't be looking too good after the release of Finding Freedom. But of course, Harry and Meghan had nothing to do with that. In Meghan's reduced biography, they have uh, removed all of her philanthropic efforts and things that she did, you know, the dishwasher commercial, that it was a class initiative. Her entire class um, wrote this letter. There was probably several complaints about this um, advert being sexist, but Meghan has claimed it as her own. Also removed are her visits that she did, her charitable visits that she did to the soup kitchen in LA. Now, it's actually been reported to me that someone who lives in LA said, that it was standard practice for all of the Catholic schools in the diocese of the Los Angeles area all did this. All of the schools did this. So um, if anyone has heard any different, please let me know. But this is what I have been told recently by someone. So it kind of takes away about the fact that Meghan was always destined to save the world, doesn't it? I love it when this truth is now coming out. The beans are being spilt. Removed also is her lifelong pursuit of social injustice and women's empowerment. Well, that's good because as far as Meghan being a um, self-proclaimed feminist, she pretty much my opinion, represents every bad quality in a woman that there is and couldn't be more opposite of a feminist if you tried. Um, pretty much has used men to get everything that she's ever achieved in life from her dad sending her to top schools who paid for all of her fees despite what she says um she's obviously used uh, then husband trevor who was a producer to get small bit parts never quite really breaking into hollywood unless you count the uh, particular rude scene in beverly hills 90210 <clears throat> unless obviously megan um presumes that her career as a deal or no deal briefcase girl was um was you know a one-upmanship for feminism i'm pretty sure of a few feminists that might disagree with that. She then went on to star in Suits, which obviously she was thrown in there, let's be honest, for the bit of fluff, wasn't she? She wasn't a lead role, she was a backup character. And more stories have been coming out that she wasn't an angel on set and would often throw diva temper tantrums and cry if she did not feel that she was getting the best outfits, the best hairstyle or getting enough um, front row coverage when they were promoting the show. So even this long time ago, Megan has been playing quite the diva. And the other bit that they have removed from the royal family website is the fact that Meghan it was a humanitarian. Now she lists this, or they listed it, like it's a job title. You either are a humanitarian or you're not. It's not a job description. Or in Meghan's case, maybe it is, and it was a role that she um, paid to play. Now, the reason why I say this is because I have got um, some tweets here where other people have uncovered about the fact that Meghan actually paid a company to make her a humanitarian when she was with Corey. Now, this was in the build-up, the run-up to obviously meeting Harry. Despite her UN chat where she completely copied Eleanor Roosevelt, so her Wikipedia page got changed from um, basically being a 
model um, <laughs> deal or no deal briefcase girl to an activist and then obviously when the royal family took her on she became a humanitarian and it's just absolutely laughable so for people that are kicking off about the fact that royal family has now reduced her biography i personally feel that all they've done is they've removed the lies that were actually put there to trap the prince she literally paid an agency to rewrite her past she got um gina and i think it is kruger crown the pr agency from memory without going through my notes but she got a company she paid a company to make her out to be a humanitarian just in the run-up before meeting harry she went and flew out to africa and she had those photographs done didn't she in the african village with all of the children just in perfect timing for when she met prince harry she played him like a fiddle she played the royal family like a fiddle i mean i you can't stop someone marrying who they want to marry, can you? Forget the fact that they're the royal family. If your brother or your sister, as I said earlier, you know, someone's in a relationship with someone you don't like, they want to marry them, you either have that chance where you kind of cut them off and then it's your loss because then you lose that person that you love or you just have to bite your tongue, bite the bullet and accept it. And judging by the entire royal family's faces on the wedding day, I think they all knew. Everyone knew. Everyone could see this coming. It's Meghan Markle's fan base are screaming and shouting, going, you're trying to get rid of history. You're trying to rewrite. And it's like, well, Meghan technically rewrote her history. She, um, She's like a chameleon. She changed herself when she wanted to get with Corey. She um, she became a dog lover. She became a foodie because she was chasing down the chef, right? Then she chases the prince. And as I said, you know, the pictures of Africa, blah, 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 blah. You know, she is a complete chameleon. She was completely different when she met Trevor. She was, you know, a typical... LA, oh I say that, that's offensive to people in Los Angeles, but you know that real California, Paris Hilton poppy sort of, yeah, pink candy floss girl, you know, and she got with Trevor, and then she gradually changed from that deal or no deal, briefcase kind of, kind of thing with Trevor to, then she started getting up herself when she got on suits, and you can see the way that Trevor's holding her hand, you know, Megan is a chameleon, and I just, I, who she's reinventing, well we know what she's reinventing herself into these days now, but I'm not allowed to say it because those words are banned on YouTube. I'd say all the royal family have really done is remove the big fat whoppers that she told. So obviously this is going to have incurred the wrath of the sugars, the fan base, the Meghan Markle diehard fans, but at this particular time I think they're still somewhat distracted. It would seem that finding freedom has not only upset um, pretty much anyone that doesn't particularly feel too warm towards Harry and Meghan, but it's also upset their fan base. So badly has it been written where it's actually made Harry and Meghan look in a worse light. It has not gone unnoticed with the sugar fan base. Um, if those of you that don't know the term reference, sugars are Meghan Markle diehard fans. And um, otherwise the rest of us, it's sicker fans. They have been attacking Omid, um, saying that he's untrustworthy, that he's thrown Megan under a bus, and various other tweets that I'm not allowed to print here again because of the language. I must admit, I do find it hilarious about the fact that Omid Scovey has been Megan's like huge cheerleader since the day one, hasn't he? He's got loads of inside information, they're friends, they've hung out together, and now her fan base are attacking him. It's like watching a snake eat its own tail. It's a bit like, oh, Oh, that's, that's gonna sting a bit. But I wonder how Omid and Carolyn do truly feel though, considering they did this book, uh, it's Finding Freedom, it was supposed to paint them in a favourable light and now they're the ones that are having poo flung at them. Now, speaking of poo, please bear with me. Um, this isn't toilet humour, well, it is toilet humour, but this will really make you chuckle, okay? Now, this comes from an account called Formerly Royal on Tumblr, and they have unearthed this wonderful gem. When Meghan was running the TIG, um, she got, obviously, lots of freebies that she was allowed to promote, and this is one of them. I'm just going to leave this right here for you guys to have a quick read and tell me what you think. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? It's actually true. She actually, in June 2015, plugged Aesop poo drops. Um, never has there been a truer advertisement for someone. I'm sorry, I just can't help but look at that picture. So enjoy, and I will be back with you very soon. Take care. If you like my video, please remember to like and subscribe. Please, angry typist, you will be blocked, so save your fingers for time. If you would like to buy me a coffee, please go to my about page and click the link. Love, Taz.